For us around here, no measurable snow so far this season. None. That amounts to literally not even a tenth of an inch just yet. So how unusual is this? And could it impact our water supply during the warmer months? CBS 2's Vanessa Murdoch spoke with our state climatologists. Captured on camera in Whitestone, Queens, 313 days ago, our last measurable snowfall, totaling four tenths of an inch, blanketed the ground on March 9th of 2022. We now rank fourth on the list of longest snowless stretches. Well, I'm glad there's no snow because I don't like driving in it. I'm a little surprised because usually around this time of the year we have a big snowstorm. We are close to setting a record for the latest first measurable snowfall in Central Park. Right now, the latest is January 29th of 1973. Climatologists, meteorologists love weather records. This is one I'd rather we not see as a snow lover. Dr. Dave Robinson, New Jersey State climatologist at Rutgers University, says the late start does not relate to climate change. When you look back into the late starts, we see them going back over a century. But is the lack of snowpack concerning? I caught up with Mark Wysocki, New York State climatologist at Cornell University, to continue the conversation. Usually summer droughts start in the winter with a lack of snowfall. Wysocki says snow melt can quickly revamp reservoirs in spring. At this point, New York City levels run just above normal. Thus, the lack of snow is... More of a cautionary note. As long as we get the precipitation, we should be doing fine. If we shut off the rain, uh, then we will be in some issues. But for those who want snow, Robinson says at this point, it's not likely we'll see above average accumulation this season. There have been 15 January starts to the snow accumulation season in Central Park, and only three ended the season above normal. While an above average season is less than likely now, big snowstorms are still possible. March storms churned out more than a foot. I got a feeling it's going to come real bad because we've been getting too, it's too nice out. Even in April, there's still hope. Vanessa Murdoch, CBS 2 News. Yeah, we're going to predict a big one. <laughs> it seems like it's always from one extreme to the next. One right? or the other, right? Always.